Hey everyone, thanks for joining. It's Christopher Vincent with Sotheby's International Realty coming to you from the beautiful Camor, Alberta. And your um, Q2 2020 market update and a look what's been happening here in the real estate market. June really saw sales um, bounce back with a month over month of increase of about 54%. Um, and we had 47 sales, sorry, 43 sales this year, 47 June 2019. So only about an 8.5% decline. Uh, what we have seen that's interesting, though, is a pretty big surge of overall levels of active listings. We're now at uh, 321 active listings. This is the highest level of active inventory we've had on the market since June of 2011. However, that's not because we're seeing a rush of people come to the market. What we are seeing is because of COVID and the uh, recession, there are just fewer sales. And as a result, the properties that have been coming to the market just aren't being absorbed. Um, if we look at um, kind of from the first week of March until um, July 4th, active um, and new listings for that period are actually down 17% year over year. So anything new, um, because of the kind of 53% decrease in sales for that same time period, anything new, there just aren't as many sales happening. All that being said, with the kind of resurgence of the market we're seeing in the past couple of weeks, um, I think a lot of this could be absorbed come end of summer, early um, fall. The big question is, though, do we see another bump in inventory come uh, later in the fall when people who took the mortgage uh, incentives are now in that position where they have to sell? And do we see more properties coming to market? The quarter is uh, probably the softest quarter we've had since um, uh, Q4 of 2011. Uh, this is the first time we've been about 300 active listings, though, in the market since uh, June of 2015. So it's been about five years. Um, quarterly sales down pretty significantly. There was only 85 sales last quarter. Uh, you know, apartments and uh, tourist home uh, short-term accommodation units were probably the hardest hit. Detached and semi-detached homes, uh, the average and median price was actually up for both of those. The median price for a detached or semi-detached, because we have such a small sample size, we put them together, uh, was $1,025,000 last uh, quarter. Uh, townhome condominiums, the median price was up 19% year over year, Q2 to Q2, uh, to $759,000. Whereas apartment style condominiums, the uh, median price was down about 15% year over year with a uh, median price of $443,000. Uh, tourist home and hotel uh, visitor accommodation units. This is the first time we've been able to um, put both uh, tourist home and uh visitor accommodation units in the same data sample, just because of the way that there's been some changes to our MLS database, it's a lot easier to pull the data. However, the uh, median sale price is down 31% year over year. When adding um, tourist homes, you would actually suspect that the median price should have gone up because those are generally selling for more than visitor accommodation. Now, the reason that this is down um, so much is because there was a number of fractional sales and that low number brought both the average and the median price down. Now in that segment of the market, uh, inventory is up year over year about 100%. Um, so, and sales have remained steady. So that segment of the market is very much kind of in a buyer's market right now. Um, look, and the rest of the market is actually in a balanced market, surprisingly. Um, we haven't seen any significant downward pressure on pricing. Only on the very top end of the market uh, are we seeing some downward pressure on pricing. And that's um, just a result of there's not a whole lot of buyers in the market. Uh, we are getting a lot of interest out of the U.S. Um, and elsewhere in Canada. But with the travel restrictions, just those buyers can't physically get here to see the properties. Um, single family homes, though, especially single family homes that under kind of 1.2, and if they're in good shape and well-priced, they're typically going to multiple offers. And, and that 
segment of the market, it remains very, very strong. And this is both people moving within the market, taking advantage of the low um, interest rates, as well as um, you know people moving into the market from elsewhere. Kind of coming through the summer, I think we're going to see um, probably consistent sales, strong sales um, as things open up more. Um, inventory levels, I think, will continue to rise. You know, I had anticipated we would be over 300 by this point. We'll probably get closer to 350. Um, and then some of that will get absorbed by the market. As always, uh, check out our blog at camorebanffrealestate.com. And thanks for watching.